I'm Johnny Baba, founder, owner, and operator of Baba Baba UK. Basically, I started barbering when I was 11. Um, my granddad used to go after me at the weekend while my mum was working, and uh, I started hanging out in the barber shop with him when I was very, very young, and started working there when I was 13 or 14, I think. And we're, we're here today, you know, so I've been doing it all my life. And, Never done anything else really, and I love it. I think it's you know it's fifty percent balls, fifty percent luck, you know, and a hundred percent hard work really. Um, never being happy, or being comfortable, being uncomfortable, you know, it's it, it, it's it's about having that element of wanting it all and, and, and not being afraid to work together it all, really, you know. So that's that's where I've been four shops now in, 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 in two years in the UK. You know, hoping to triple this, you know, quadruple it, who knows, but um, I'm not done yet. I don't feel like I'm happy yet, so I'm going to keep going, you know. Passion is everything. You know, if you don't have passion for your craft, then, you know, you may as well hang it up. You know, it's, um, unfortunately these days, you know, because barbering is seen as a cool job to have and, you know, all the cool kids are doing it, you know, they're forgetting the ethos behind it. It's, it's a service. You know, ultimately, like, you know, we're not servants, but, you work in a customer service industry, so you've got to you've got to put your own feelings aside, your own egos aside on it, but you still have to stick to your guns and, and, and what you want for your business, you know. I mean, you can't want to be liked by everybody, you know. Everyone isn't a customer. You, know, you, you set out your stall as best you can, and then the customers will come. If, they, if, if they are for you, if they're your customers, then they'll stay. If they're not, then they're going to go. But you can't compromise your beliefs, and you can't compromise... You know, your your ethos and the, the learning behind proper barbering, the sport barbering, proper education, proper serve apprenticeships. You know, the, 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 these days there's an awful lot of courses out there. There's, you know, job ready courses, NVQ courses, private paid courses. None of them really work. It. You know, you, you've got to serve your time as an apprentice. Start from the bottom, sweep the floor, fold the towels, making sure the stock is there. Making sure customers looked after, you know, cleaning toilets, moving carpets, washing floors. You know, if, if you don't learn how to do all these things, then you're never going to learn how to cut hair properly because, you know, in order to run a barbershop, you need to know how a barbershop runs. And it's not all about just cutting hair, it's about looking after your customers, it's about cleaning hair, it's about cleaning hair off the floor. It's about everything, really. You know, it's, it's a very, very important part of it. And that's why. I make sure my barbers serve apprenticeships rather than do courses. It's, it's always been the way for me, you know, that's how I did it. You know, that's how I feel it should be done, so that's the way I stick to it, you know. Basically, <clears throat> I had a shop in Ireland, um, which was a really, really busy shop. And uh, I knew my partner, uh, Martin Leahy, um, a very, very successful man. Started the logistics and moved the property, but my shop at home in Limerick, it was, it was a very, very busy shop, but it was upstairs, it was tucked away, you know, and Morgan always used to say, you know, you're too big for where you are, you know, you need to be on a bigger stage. So you know, he had a bit of property in Manchester, and he said, look, Morgan, have a look, and he said, eh, well, you know, I was just after starting another business um, with, with hair products and stuff like that, which was going well, but again, I was always itchy, I always wanted more, so I discussed with my wife, and she said, yeah, go for it, you know, so we went over. We had a look, and the rest is history. We opened in, the rest in, in, in Manchester two years ago, and we've thrived since. You know, so that's, that's, that's the story of how I came to the UK, you know. With any business, and, and, you know, and with any growth, you know, everyone has their niche, you know, and nobody interferes in the other person's niche. I run the shops, I get the staff, I train the staff. You know, I, I decide how the shop should look, because that's what, I, that's what I'm good at, you know. Morgan is good at finding sites, you know, breaking down barriers to meet the big landlords. Because without, without, without an established business partner like that, you won't get to meet with the big guys. You know, you'd be stuck in a street corner all your life. You know, you'd be tucked away down an alleyway. When a letter comes to these agents, most of the time you look and go, oh, a barbershop. They don't see your dream. They don't see your vision. They just see a barbershop. They see a haircut. You know, and that's where you need somebody like that. You know, be dogged businessmen to say, no, no, you have to talk to us, you need to talk to us. And that, he went from that to then ringing us now, 
Now all the major landlords around the country, big, big shopping centres and all that, they all want a piece of this. You know, now we're in control, we, we choose what we want. Thank you.